everyone, I'm Ashley and this is Ashley Talks Movies. Welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be doing a review of The Five Bloods. It's Spike Lee's newest film. It was released just a few days ago on Netflix and uh, I've actually been looking forward to this film. I, I watched the trailer a few weeks back, really enjoyed the trailer, really enjoyed the style of it. And so I was curious to see uh, how that would play out in the film. Before I get to the review, uh, do me a favor while you're here, uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video is posted. Okay, on to the review. So, The Five Bloods is Spike Lee's newest film. It was released on Netflix and it tells the story of four black Vietnam veterans who returned to Vietnam for uh, a couple of reasons. One, to find the remains of their fallen comrade and also to find the gold that they buried many years prior. There's a lot going on with this film and uh, Spike Lee does a really great job of handling a bunch of different themes and topics um, within this film. This film is kind of part war film, part action film, part heist film, um, but he's able to kind of blend all those genres together with this movie. I will say I wasn't expecting this film to be um, as bloody and violent as it eventually became. Um, that was a bit of a shock for me. I mean, I knew it was a war film, but just from the beginning of the film, I didn't really get that sense of it. Um, so that part of it really surprised me. So the film starts off with the four main characters played by Delroy Lindo, Clark Peters, Norm Lewis, and Isaiah Whitlock Jr. meeting back up um, in Vietnam for, uh, for this journey that they're about to undertake, which is to find the remains of Storm and Norman, who's, um, played by Chadwick Boseman, and he's, uh, uh, their fallen comrade. He was in the Vietnam War with them, and he did not make it. But even right from the beginning, even though you can tell that th these guys are old buddies, um, that they have a lot of history together, there's something, uh, under the surface. Like, there's something that's not being said. Right. And that's kind of a recurring theme throughout the film, sort of this idea of like unfinished business and, and truths being told or truths being revealed. What I really enjoyed about this film was, OK, so this film is set in the present, but it's also set in the past. And what Spike Lee does is he uses this technique where he has the different time periods in different frame sizes. So. Everything in the Vietnam War um, is is sort of like uh, like four by three um, aspect ratio, and then everything in the present is either widescreen or or you know it's like full, and um, I think that that helps one to break up uh, the time differences, right? So you can keep track of what time period you're in, um, but also it it gives a different tone to to those scenes in, in the movie, right? So in the present, it feels different than when you are in the past. I also really liked how Spike Lee told this story. Um, he is making a very bold statement here about well, a lot of things, uh, about war, about humanity, about racism, um, about injustice. Um, there's so many different themes and, and, and things going on in this movie, and he's, he's making a statement on every single one of those things in, the, in this film. And I like how he kind of brings it all together and hammers it in. I mean, some of this, some of these topics are very, very heavy, right? And he does this by interjecting historical footage. So there's some times when the characters are talking about certain things, and it's one thing for them to talk about it, but then Spike Lee will show you a scene. And he uses like historical footage to do it, right? So they'll mention something about Malcolm X or Martin Luther King, and then there's a there's a scene, um, you know, from a Martin Luther King speech from like 1960 something, um, and it, you have to see it. You have to see Martin Luther King. You have to hear him speak. So it like brings that point and hammers it home. The acting is really good in this movie, but the standout for me was definitely Delroy Lindo. His character, he plays Paul. His character is very very complex. And I feel like his character was the most developed character in this movie. Um, you know, he's a war veteran. He's suffering from PTSD, but his PTSD is far more advanced than it is presented with the other characters, right? He's tortured. And there's something um, about his torture that gets revealed later in the movie. Um, so you kind of understand more why he is the way that he is 
and and what his ultimate goal was when he came comes back to Vietnam, right? And so that goes back to that whole theme I was talking about with like unfinished business and, and sort of revealing truths. Um, he does such a great job with this character, um, and you know he 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 was just just exciting to watch. Like he's so good in this movie. Um, the other actors do a fantastic job as well, but just for me, he was such a standout. I really enjoyed this film, but I did have a few uh, criticisms for it. I think one of the biggest problems for me with this film was um, it didn't feel as focused as some of Spike Lee's other films. Like, especially if you're, if I was gonna compare it to something more recent like Black Klansman, which deals with racism and things like that. Um, this movie, while good, it felt at times like the story was kind of all over the place. There's a lot of plot lines going on. There's a lot of side stories and side characters. And I feel like some of them could have been eliminated completely. Um, and it wouldn't have hurt the film in any way. At times, particularly like past the midway point of this film, things really start to slow down. Like it drags a little bit. Um, up until that point, like the, there's a steady momentum of this film. Um, it starts to pick back up later on in the film, like, but there's, there's a very clear point in the movie where things start to drag. Spike Lee is, as I mentioned before, he's handling and juggling a lot of different themes in this movie. And many of it is still relevant today. You know, this idea of, um, you know, you have these these four black Vietnam veterans and they're discussing like the war and, and how things have changed since then, but how things haven't changed. And in a lot of ways, it's, it's interesting because it's like he's making commentary on the fact that, you know, you had these black soldiers go over to Vietnam to fight for America um, in a war that a lot of people didn't want to talk about, didn't want to acknowledge. Um, but not only that, while they were fighting in Vietnam for the United States, back home, black Americans were fighting for civil rights. You know, this was during the 60s, you know, early 70s that this, this war took place. So that juxtaposition, um, it, you know, is very prominent in the film, but it's also like that happened in real life. You know, the, and so it's it's one of those really interesting things of like this balance of like your loyalty to a country that um, hasn't quite given you all the rights that you should have. The Five Bloods, I think, is a really great film. It, it tackles a lot of topics, you know, within sort of the context of a, of a war film. Um, and I think Spike Lee does a, a really good job with it. I think the acting is great. Um, I, I think it's a really interesting story and um, I, I definitely recommend people watch it. So those are my thoughts on The Five Bloods. Let me know what you think about the film in the comment section below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of uh, Spike Lee's uh, stylistic choices with this film? So anyway, share your thoughts below and while you're here, like this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe.